My question is to the Premier Speaker. Since this government announced the child care reopening in this province, without ever talking to any operators, any parents, ACEs, people who actually operate in, on the ground, people who actually need child care spaces, without consulting with any of these people, uh, they decided suddenly, with a three days notice, to open up child care centers. Since then, we have heard from parents who are worried sick. They're worried about the future of their children. We've heard from parents who have been told that, that fees are going up. Uh, we have been told that these parents who are already paying more than you know, mortgage, more than their rent, we're now experiencing one of the highest childcare costs in this province, Speaker, and now these childcare costs will go up. We've also heard from essential workers, people who this Premier calls uh, our heroes, essential workers who are Question. afraid of losing their spaces. We're, we're hearing from frontline workers who are losing their emergency childcare spaces and have no alternative. My question is, Mr. Speaker, will this government admit to the lack of a plan that's hurting families and step up with the funding need that childcare needs and make the recovery easier and safer for everyone? Thank you, Speaker. The response, the government has stated. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as you know, uh, the minister worked very closely with the chief medical officer of health to put in place uh, a plan that would uh, support uh, our child care operators as, uh, as they began to reopen up. The member will know that while child care centers are allowed to reopen, they're not mandated uh, to reopen. They can only do so and should only do so when uh, their workers are safe and when the people that they're taking care of uh, are safe uh, as well, Mr. Speaker. To suggest that we didn't work with uh, with uh, with them is, is just simply wrong. As you know, this is an very a very important sector to us. It's important to the economy. Uh, as we start to reopen, we understand how important childcare is uh, uh, for individuals who are returning to work. Uh, funding has been put in place to ensure that uh, childcare centres do not increase uh, uh, the costs uh, to uh, to parents, Mr. Speaker. And we will continue to work very closely with the sector to make sure that. Our children are safe, and equally importantly, the people who provide the care are safe as well. Thank you. The member for University Rosedale. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Premier. Uh, the government's lack of a childcare plan is hurting families and childcare operators. Jeff, a supervisor at Friends Daycare in my riding, said the Conservatives' plan fails to address capacity issues, fails to address the increased cost of reopening and fails to provide proper funding and direction for staffing. Premier, some childcare centres might never reopen. Premier, how can you expect childcare centres to provide childcare to parents so they can return to work if these childcare centres can't even afford to pay their own staff? Once again, the government house leader. Uh, again, Mr. Speaker, as I just said, uh, we work very closely with the sector uh, uh, well in advance of the announcement uh, that uh, the sector could begin to open. As you know, that was, there was an emergency order put in place earlier on that uh, would uh, allow for essential, uh, uh, essential workers to uh, have uh, the provision of childcare. We've advanced uh, some of those uh, sectoral guidance. Uh, the minister working closely with the chief medical officer of health, working with the minister of labor. We've put funding in place to ensure that the centers, when they do decide to open, can do so safely. Uh, we've uh, expressed uh, that it's important that all child care workers uh, are tested. Uh, there's funding in place for PPE. There's funding in place for, uh, for disinfecting. We will continue to work very closely with the sector, Mr. Speaker, because as you know, uh, uh, as we begin to open up the economy, as the Premier announced earlier today, this is a very important sector, uh, and uh, we want to make sure that the people providing services Response. and the kids that they're taking care of are safe. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.